this is a 1986 Porsche 944. It sits on replica 7 and 8 inch Fuchs alloys. It's black, which hides nothing in terms of body flaws. And it's all around a great driver. It's also running an aftermarket front spoiler bumper combination made by Fiberworks. Porsche's 944 factory was in a former NSU plant in Neckarsholm, Germany, just north of Stuttgart. This one was sold new in New Jersey. Original equipment included a catalyst for U.S. emissions, a sunroof, and leather slash leatherette seats. It stayed in the New Jersey area and accumulated about 33,000 miles until 1990 when it made its way to Washington State. It changed hands in 2006 and again in 2008 and stayed in the Seattle area with regular maintenance and service by Gerber Motorsports. Quick aside, that's the shop started by Walter Gerber, team manager of successful 935 and 962 endurance racing efforts, which was acquired in 2016 by Dominic Dobson of Le Mans and IndyCar fame and became Dobson Stuttgart, which continued to service the car until the current owner, based in Reno, Nevada, purchased it in 2020. So let's open it up and take a closer look. Overall, the interior is in great shape. The first thing you'll notice is the Momo Monte Carlo steering wheel. A short shift kit was installed in 2021. The only non-functional items in the interior are the clock and the AC, which was diagnosed with a faulty compressor, which has since been disconnected. There's a removable aftermarket doodad holder. Moving on to the dash, there's some small cracks at the top originating at the vent holes. The stereo is an aftermarket Alpine unit with a CD player, iPod, iPhone, and Bluetooth integration. And the glove box door stop appears to be missing. The headliner is excellent. Carpet underneath the Lloyd's mats on both sides is in great shape. There are no issues with either of the interior door panels. The door seals were replaced with factory rubber in 2020. The door sills are straight. The carpet in the hatch area has no flaws to point out. The rear hatch rubber was renewed in 2021 with rubber sourced from only 944. The cargo cover is functional. The spare tire well is solid. poking around the left rear lower corner.
and this is the right rear corner. Under the hood in 2020, it received a major service with water pump and belt service, a head gasket replacement, the motor mounts were replaced with factory mounts, it received a fuel filter, an O2 sensor, the fuel rail jumper line was replaced, new fuel lines with Teflon and stainless steel lines from large parts were added, a cap, rotor, distributor cap gasket, and plug wires were all replaced. In 2021, the fuel pressure was rechecked and the water pump, timing, and balance shaft belts were adjusted. Let's get it on flat ground and go underneath. Obviously, it's not detailed for show. The Kony Sport shocks and struts were installed in 2020, and at the same time, it was aligned, the rear calipers were rebuilt, brake hoses were replaced with Troutman stainless steel lines, and the gearbox was serviced and resealed. Behind the rear bumper, there are no signs of any impacts. The clutch itself, which was upgraded to a spring-centered unit, dates back to 2013. Back in 2018, the right front caliper was replaced, and when the conies were installed, the upper strut mounts were replaced as well. Ball joints were also replaced with a kit by Renbei, and inner and outer wheel bearings were replaced. This slight depression is probably related to an improper lifting spot at some point. And the rear sway bar was added by higher performance in 2020. and poking around the bottom side of the motor, it's pretty clean. And that's after a drive from Reno to the San Francisco Bay Area after its last oil change. Uh, the wheel wells are pretty tidy also. Wheels and tires. The 16x7 and 16x8 Fuchs replicas are by Ricambio Non Originale and are wrapped in 20555ZR16 and 22550ZR16 Michelin Pilot Sport All Seasons that were mounted in 2021. Up close, you can see there's minor scratching in the painted spokes. Glass and rubber are quite good. There are a few minor rock chips in the windshield.
have to get really close to find any flaws in the bodywork on this 944. So here they are. Taking it from the top, there's some minor paint bubbling on the fleeting edge of the removable sunroof panel, and some plastic degradation of the seam at the rear edge of the roof line. And the same condition on the passenger's side. Hold on tight for the rock chip tour. It gets driven, and there are chips, especially on the leading edges. On the driver's door, there's a wave at the leading edge. Below the mirror, there's a touched up chip. Down low at squirrel height, you'll notice a reverse dimple. And two very faint waves here. And this slight depression in the rocker below. There's a faint overspray behind the edge of the driver's door that's not present on the passenger's door. There's a very minor ding in the passenger's door. and a slight wave above the door handle and a minuscule dimple under the door handle. There's a scratch in the right rear fender. And on the driver's side rear fender, just under the hatch, there appear to be some bodywork sanding marks. At the rear, near the 944 emblem, there's this scratch. And this slight ding is only visible with the hatch open as it's under the spoiler. There's a minor crack in the left rear taillight. The right side is fine. There's a crack in the left front fog lamp lens that doesn't affect its operation. The records and receipts from 2009 forward are present. Check the auction gallery for those and a detailed summary of service and maintenance through the years. Like all Porsches, the styling and design of the 944 has aged well. And having campaigned them in endurance racing, I can vouch for the fact they're well balanced and fun to drive. This one might be the perfect way to experience it. Special thanks to AutoScene for the enthusiast, 3510 Old Santa Rita Road, Pleasanton, California.